you ask a lot of people about what's a favorite season. You know, a lot of people that have lived here a long time are going to go, oh, I love September and October because it's quiet, it's my time. Colors change, we got tamarack or large trees that are, you know, turning yellow, leaves are floating down the river. Bluing olive hatches, you know, they're almost like clockwork on a daily basis. For Paul and where I guide uh, on the Flathead River system, it's May, June, July, August, September, and... Summer is mayhem. Like, we are a busy shop, and I don't have the time to fish for myself. Yep, I just put my boots on one at a time, just like everybody else. I like the fall. Yeah, it's my time to be back in the game. The big fish fall out of the small tribs, they come out, want to eat, you get a good hatch and you get these daisy chains and cutthroat just porpoising and feeding and it just makes fall a desirable thing. When you can see a fish come up and eat your fly, that instills a memory that you won't forget. And it's also just really fun to see it firsthand. Like, wow, that fish is awesome, and it just ate that little dry, and it's still sipping, and, you know, now it's going to fight through the run, but look at those other fish are still eating around it. Are you kidding me? Like, man, this fishery is an awesome, world-class dry fly fishery, man. I would go on the river with Paul any time, any chance I get. He's the only person I know who can be like a real professional, but keep it that light. Man, the guy is a goofball. <laughs> <laughs> they never are. They're never as big as the one you missed. But that is beautiful. Wow. That's crazy. And my jokes aren't even really jokes. Like, I don't even know why things come out of my mouth. But he laughs at them. And maybe it's just courtesy. Maybe it's just his Canadian politeness. <laughs> maybe he's just so polite he laughs at my jokes. He's just a good friend to have around. So the first time I met Hillary, man, we had a blast. Who could not like her, right? Fun to fish with, great passion for fly fishing. Uh, just hit it off. Paul and Sebastian and Dylan, his guides, we've had the opportunity to fish with, are so good and so knowledgeable. They all get so stoked. It's happy guiding, <laughs> you know, which is what you want. That's the best thing, is happy guides or happy anglers and happy fish. It's just a cool place. No, you need an F-350 to pull a drift boat. No, you don't. Inferno, you do. No, you can oh, pull yes, it with a Prius. You need a lift kit. You no, need 37s no. minimum. You got to intimidate the guys from Washington. Right? right? We have in my town, it is like... Drop it in here. Drop it. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. Good whistle. Coming down, here we go. You're gonna have to do it yourself one day. That's head, this is head guide, potential head guide stuff. Tell me if you're sucking. A lot of people ask me, what, what is so special about coming to Fernie? Well, it's wild native fish. No introduced species. These fish were here before we were. That's what makes it awesome. But the fall, that's when the big boys come to play. And I can also see the fly and tie it on without using my glasses. You know, you, you can have an 18 inch cutthroat on out of nowhere comes this gator surfing through the water and just mowing down on this fish that's you know you think is your biggest dry fly cutthroat of the year and all of a sudden a bull trout's going after it. It's an impressive beast. Here we go now, bully, 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 bully. Yeah, it was wild because this big old bull is kind of sitting in the center of this run and Paul just suddenly was like, I'm on. The fish kind of takes off and it's a good strong fight. It's getting away on me. You know, it was like way too big for the net, <laughs> one of those fish. And Paul said that was one of the biggest bull trout he's caught in a long time. This is no Hillary Hunt. This one was tall, tall. I mean, I wish I caught that fish. <laughs> Warrior. Also, to see what's happening with the kokanee. I mean, this crazy, like, life cycle out here is so cool to see. The whole reason that you're going after them is to, you know, try to connect with these animals in their natural element. And um, to have somebody like Paul bring you into that, and then for him to hook up, for the boss man to like hook up and get that fish, that's a big deal. <laughs> I'd like to see him catch a million more of those in my lifetime. You did. Woo, 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 woo.
Like, is that a pretty fish? Talking about bull trout? Yeah. I love them. They're leviathans of the Rockies. They're just big, prehistoric looking beasts. <laughs> Fall, I, I like the fall. I just have a passion for bull trout you know, running remote rivers going to look for them. I think it's pretty cool. Being able to catch a native West Slope cutthroat trout on a dry fly in beautiful water um, surrounded by these mountains in Canada and some great people is uh, something I hope everybody takes advantage of if they get a chance. <laughs>